All right, Joe, you, 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 you have the message, message right here. Before you play it, can, can I at least tell the story? Yeah. All right, this is what happened my last my last night of drinking. This, this is this is basically why I quit, Joe. Was I was uh, or t- took a hiatus, take an inventory. <laughs> I uh, I was down in uh, I was at this club. I'm just going to remain nameless. All right. And uh, I can't believe I'm tell this story. I hope they don't they don't have fucking XM here. Um, <laughs> anybody in this story, but not have XM, or I'm going to get a fucking letter. Basically, what happened was I was. <laughs> I've already said when the gig was, so they're going to be able to do the math. Fuck it, I'm saying it. I basically did this gig right. It was the um, the end of the night, and and this this couple who I guess I had partied with the last time I was down there, which I didn't remember. So I already, but when I came to town, I'm like, dude, I'm not drinking this week. You know, you just say when you come to uh, town, yeah. right? I'm eating lettuce. I'm doing sit-ups. Yeah. I'm going to come home. I'm going to be shredded, right? <laughs> I'm going to write jokes every night, you know? Next yeah, you, you know. treat it like prison. Yeah. Uh, and then you're hammered, jerking <laughs> off the tube eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad, dude. It's pathetic, right? So basically, I get off stage, all right? And they're already sitting there. And they already got, le- I was drinking Jameson last time I was there. So they already have one ready for me. And I'm, you know, signing my CDs, whoring myself out. And they're like, hey, Bill, we already got a drink for you. So I'm sitting, you know, I didn't want to be a jerk. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I hate when, like, uh, somebody buys me a drink and I go, oh, I can't have that. Then they think, you you know. Right. Oh, what, are you too big for me? Yeah. Can't drink Coors Light anymore? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably some awful beer. So I'm like, all right. So I go over there and I drink one. Of course, I got to have a beer chaser, right? <sighs> then they get me another one. They're shooting the shit. Ah, uh, you know, the guy's girl is, you know, she's a little whorish. Right. The alcohol's kicking in. She's got tattoos. And the night's on. Next thing you know, he's like, oh, yeah, I work at a bar down the street. <laughs> Bam. We're down the street. Next there thing you know, go. more Jameson. Boom, boom, boom. Hammered and all this. I, dude, I'm really getting paranoid that they have XM. Like, I don't know if I can. T- well, well, the story basically ends. I just, she tells me she's not wearing any <laughs> panties. Okay. Jesus the Christ. dude is like five feet away. She's showing me she's not wearing panties. Of course. So then in my hammered state, I look over to the other comic I'm with. I'm like, eh, she just showed me her clam, eh, all this stuff. And then her, her, whatever he is, sticks his head in between the two of us. And he's like, what happened? What's going on? <laughs> and I immediately went, oh, I just put up this chin-up bar in my house. And I tried to play it off. <laughs> Then she gets, I swear to God, then she gets all, and I'm wasted, dude. She gets, and then she gets all in my face with like this red wine breath. She's like, come on, you gotta kiss me. You gotta kiss me. I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to kiss you. She goes, I just showed you my clam. She didn't say clam, whatever. She goes, you gotta kiss me. And I go, I'm not going to kiss you. Your boyfriend is like two feet away. Dude, it was brutal. Then she, then she walks off and now she's over there having a little powwow with him. So as the comedian is talking to me, I'm acting like I'm listening, but I'm really watching this other dude uh, waiting for the glass up to the side of my head, yeah. which I totally deserve at this point. And uh, the last thing I remember her was walking up, asking me if I had any Coke. <laughs> right? <laughs> so <laughs> so they, end, they end up leaving. Now, mind you, I have to get up in like four hours to do radio. They end up leaving. Ugh. I was just going to have one. And now I'm still there. I'm like, yeah, hey, let's have another one. And I stayed there for like another three. Uh, Dude, I had—I think I had like nine. How nine, did you get up for radio? That's the worst part of the story uh, to me. Because I'm a company <laughs> man, Joe. I guess like in the, like the next day, like the, the guy I was working was like, "Dude, do you even remember any of that? Like, do you remember when we went? Do you remember when we went to go get pizza?" I was like, "No, I don't even remember anything after leaving the bar." Evidently, I went into the pizza parlor, and the 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 the, the uh, host or the feature act, he met some chick there, so I guess he already knew her. And he was trying to close the deal with her, and I was hammered. I thought he just met her, Ugh. so I was just like, "He killed tonight. He was hilarious. That guy killed." Who was the feature act? That saw uh, no, you. There's, there's no names in this story. In this state, this poor kid. That I'll tell you off air. There's, you. there's, there's no. Oh, dude, come on, man. We, we laughed the whole weekend. I don't give a shit, right? So then, basically, what ended up happening was, unbe- now at this point, I'm completely blacked out. I don't remember any of this. And evidently, I went back to my hotel room. You got, you got the message ready? Yep. And I drunk dialed Joe DeRosa. Because at this point, I think I was already taking stock in my life that I can't, I can't do this anymore. And uh, This message is more embarrassing than anything he did in that story. This is just so... <laughs> it's just so... Danny, you know when you just see something and you, and you go, that's so 
fucking gay. Yeah, and you get the douche chills, and you feel like you can't listen. Yeah. Right? Well, you better Not put you better like homosexual. Like you better gay. put a coat on for this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get. Right, I'm gonna see. cure global warming with these douche chills. Here it is. <laughs> Miami is the devil's armpit. I'm drunk, and I just spoke some truth in my own reality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what does that you even mean? Fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, dude, for A. Jameson, nine James. I'm not, I'm not slurring too much. I don't even know what you know what that in my drunk mind was. I had made up my mind that was the last time. I'm gonna be involved in that situation. I already felt, I already felt, ho dude. I felt horrible, dude. You know what it was? It was one of those deals with that couple. Like their relationship was falling apart, like that, and, and you just ended up being that the catalyst to probably. They, they probably broke up after that night. I'm so happy that I missed that phone call. Why, I, dude? You could have kept me on and rec we, I wouldn't even have to do a show. I couldn't have recorded it. There was no way for me to record it, and I just would have been cornered with your drunk fucking, you know, hey, hey, <laughs> you show me a clam. You show me a clam. And then that would have spiraled into some theory about the country. That's just wrong with this country. They're, <laughs> they're going to bankrupt it. <laughs> they're showing us clams to distract us from what's really going on. I gotta admit, I don't think it, I don't think it's that bad. It's definitely douchey, but like when you do the way you the way you hyped it up to me, man, I, I thought I talked for five minutes. That was a nice, quick little. No, it was a quick, but you just, straight right of douche chills uh, right uh, to your grill. Uh, as I said, the, the, the just the air of of pride and confidence in your voice that you really just said something. That's the worst part of it. You you can hear that you're like, yeah, man, I just I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, you fucking. <laughs> oh, God. 40 years old. I'm 40 years old and I left that. I mean, that's the kind of message you leave sophomore, maybe end of freshman year in college. I mean, that is just pathetic. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's yeah, great. so anyways, uh, so anyways, people listening at this point who haven't just like projectile vomited with that, that message. Uh, yeah, that was it. And the next day I woke up, Joe, and I felt I felt so bad. I mean, if the people who are listening, man, I, I apologize for my behavior. I'll take fifty percent of that, okay? You know what I mean? <clears throat> my my half of that. I apologize, man. I my behavior was ridiculous, and uh, and I am not sober. They're not listening. Don't worry. You're in the clear. You're in the clear. Uh, They're not listening. Nobody's listening, Bill. <laughs> we can say whatever we want in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can confess to a murder. Right now wouldn't make a bit of fucking difference. <laughs>